Hello everyone, I am Josefa and in this video we are going to discuss what is data lake and what is data warehouse and what is the difference between data lake and data warehouse. So in this lesson we will discuss the challenges posed by the high volume of data and how to ingest and store the high volume of data and then we will end the discussion with the difference between data warehouse and data lake. So the topics included in this lesson is introduction to data lake, introduction to data warehouse and data lake versus data warehouse. Exponential growth of business data. So business have been storing data for decades. This is nothing new, but the way to analyze that data has changed in recent years. So there are three broad classification of data source types. So the first one is structured data. Structured data is organized and stored in the form of values that are grouped in rows and columns of a table. So for example, we store data in MySQL, Postgres, and all the structured uh, databases. So that will be structured data. Then we have semi-structured data. Data that is often stored in the form of key value pairs. The example of that will be data stored in NoSQL databases. For instance, data stored in MongoDB or the data is stored in DynamoDB and Firebase and the list goes on. And then the third one is unstructured data. The data that is not structured in a consistent way. Some data can be in semi-structured form. Some data may only contain the metadata. For example, all the data that is stored in the media server that contains images, videos, audio files, etc. Now we will discuss what is the percentage of data that is stored on the internet right now. So many article talks about the huge amount of information sitting within the unstructured data. New applications are being released that can now catalog and provide incredible insights into the untapped resources. So you can look into this chart like the structured data is around 10 percent and the semi-structured data is also around 10 percent which contains XML, JSON, CSV and the unstructured data is almost around 80 percent that contains images, videos, audio files etc. So we need to learn how to analyze and perform all the actions on the unstructured data as well along with semi-structured and structured data. Data sets are getting bigger and more diverse every single day. Modern data management platform must capture data from diverse source at speed and scale. Data needs to be pulled together in manageable central repositories, breaking down the traditional silos. The benefit of collection and analysis of all business data must outweigh the cost. So you can see in the picture like the data is now coming in in the form of transactions in the form the data is also coming from ERP solutions from websites and then the data is also coming from the connected devices like uh, IP cameras and uh, microphone recorders etc and the data is also coming from the social media platforms. So moving forward to topic number one, introduction to data lakes. A data lake is a centralized repository that allows you to store structured, semi-structured and unstructured data at any scale. As you can see in the picture, like we can do real time data movement, on premises data movement. And then when we have all the data in the data lake, we can apply machine learning. We can get the analytics and stuff like that. So data lake promise the ability to store all the data for a business in a single repository. So you can leverage data lake to store large volumes of data instead of persisting that data into data warehouses. Data lakes that are built using Amazon S3 are generally less expensive than specialized big data storage solutions. That way you can only pay for the specialized solution when you are using them for processing and analytics and not for long term storage. So moving forward to the benefits of data lake. So the first one is data can be analyzed using AI and machine learning. 
we can store all the data in data lake it can be structured semi-structured and then apply machine learning and ai to analyze that data to gather insights from that particular data rather than just uh, processing that data and storing that into the data warehouse and then in the warehouse the data is already processed so we do not have much flexibility to apply machine learning and ai uh, techniques so but in data lake we have much more data so machine learning and ai can be much more useful so the second point is storing any type of data regardless of the structure so in data lake we can store structured data semi-structured data and unstructured data but we have to make sure that whatever data we are storing in the data lake it is useful and it can be used in future to gather meaningful insights so it is not like we can store anything and we are storing a lot of garbage data into the data lake so the third one is single source of truth in data lake we only have like a single repository where we are storing all sorts of data so we do not have to worry about different sources and storing that data into that particular repository and that data into that particular uh, server so there is only one single repository and all the data is stored in that but we have to be careful and ensure that the data within the data lake is relevant and do not go unused so we have to make sure of that as well so moving forward to topic number two introduction to data warehouse data warehouse is a central repository of structured data from many data sources this data is transformed aggregated and prepared for business reporting and analysis as you can see in the picture like we have different data sources and then from all these data sources we are getting the data and then we are extracting the data transforming it and loading it inside the data warehouse and then when we store the data into the data warehouse then we use that for reporting for olap database for data mining and stuff like that so what is data warehouse a data warehouse is a central repository of information coming from one or more data sources data flow into a data warehouse from transactional system relational databases and other sources these data sources can include structured semi-structured and unstructured data these data sources are transformed into a structured data before they are stored into the data warehouse instead like in data lake we store the data as it is but in data warehouse we need to structure them like if we get the unstructured data or semi-structured data we need to first structure it and then store it inside the data warehouse data is stored within the data warehouse using a schema a schema defines how data is stored within table table columns and rows schema enforces constraints on the data to ensure the integrity of the data the transformation process often involves the steps required to make the source data conform to the schema so it can be like we are getting the data in different form and then we have to transform that data we have to apply different process and then after processing it it conforms according to the schema so following the successful ingestion of data into the data warehouse the process of ingesting and transforming the data continue at a regular interval so because we have new data coming in and we are like processing it and we are like analyzing it and then we are storing it into the data warehouse and business analyst data scientist and decision maker access the data through business intelligence tools like sql clients and other analytical applications business use reports dashboard and analytics tool to extract insight from their data monitor their business performance and support decision making these reports dashboards and analytical tools are powered by data warehouse which store data efficiently to minimize io operations and deliver query results at blazing speeds to hundreds and thousands of users concurrently so moving forward to data mart as you know data warehouse can be massive so analyzing that huge amount of data can be very confusing so many organization needs a way to limit the data that should be presented to the users according to their needs so for that we have data mart 
subset of data from data warehouse is called data mart a data mart only focus on one subject of data on the other hand data warehouse focus on all the subjects of the business a data mart is created from a subset of data that we have already stored in data warehouse so it is very easy and fast to implement a data mart so what are the pros and cons of traditional data warehousing so first we will look into the pros so the first one is fast data retrieval in data warehousing we the data retrieval is very fast and the second one is curated data sets all the data sets we have in data warehouse are already analyzed processed so it is very curated and then centralized storage the data warehouse is a centralized storage of all the business information that is processed and then the fourth one is better business intelligence so the data is already analyzed processed so we can uh, get better business intelligence from it so the cons of data warehousing the first one is costly to implement because obviously we are getting the data from different sources then we are transforming it and then loading it into this our system so obviously it takes a lot of steps so it is a bit costly to implement data warehousing maintenance can be challenging because the data sources are changing and with every day we have like new source of data so it is very difficult and it is very challenging to maintain that and security is also a concern in data warehousing so moving forward to analyzing a data warehouse so analyzing a data warehouse involves various stages and various steps so the first one is determining the business objectives and then the second one is collect and analyze information and then the third one is identify the core business process and what is the business needs and where business needs to go in order to grow in order to get more prosperous construct a conceptual data model before designing your whole data warehouse locate where are the different data sources from where we will get the data and then create a data pipeline for get, uh, ingesting or getting the data and then processing it analyzing it and then putting it inside your data warehouse solution and when the data is inside your data warehouse solution then you will apply different techniques to get that data and create dashboards create reports that can be used by business owners and decision makers to make effective decisions so moving forward to data lake extended data warehouse so data lake provide customers mean for including unstructured semi-structured data in their analytics solution analytics queries can be run on this structured unstructured and semi-structured data regardless in uh, data warehouse we can only run queries only on the structured data so in data lake we have the ability to query and analyze data of any type so it extends the functionality of data warehouse and business can securely store data coming from application devices in its native format with high availability durability at low cost and at any scale business can easily access analyze data in the variety of ways using the tools and frameworks of their choice in high performance cost effective way without having to move large amount of data between storage and analytics systems so moving forward to topic number three data lake versus data warehouse we will discuss the difference between data warehouse and data lake based on the characteristics we have defined so the first one is data type in data warehouse we are storing all the structured data that can be transactions and any structured data but on the other end in data lake we are storing the data that can be structured semi-structured or unstructured the data coming from iot devices the data from social media platforms so the second one is schema in data warehouse we need to first design the schema before implementing the data warehouse and before inserting the data into a data warehouse but on the other end in data lake we first insert the data into the data lake store all kinds of information then we design the schema when we need to apply analytics on it the third one is price and performance 
so the data warehouse is very fast in terms of fetching the data and in terms of price it is very costly as well but on the other end the data lakes performance of getting the data is getting faster day by day but it is not as fast as data warehouse but the price is very low as compared to data warehouse then the fourth one is data quality in data warehouse the data quality is very good because the data is already analyzed and processed so it is a single central source of truth but on the other end in data lake all the data is stored it can be useful it can be not very useful so the data quality is not as good as data warehouse because we are storing all sorts of data related to that particular business the fifth one is users so data warehouse is usually used by business analyst but on the other end data lake is used by data scientists data developers and business analysts and then the sixth option is analytics so data warehouse is used for batch reporting business intelligence and visualizations and on the other end on data lake we perform machine learning ai predictive analytics and data discovery and profiling so this is the difference between data lake and data warehouse so so in this lesson we discussed what is data lake and what is data warehouse and what is the difference between data lake and data warehouse and which one to use in which situation and in the next video we are going to discuss what are the options in aws for setting up your own data lake and data warehouses so thank you so much